Hello, good evening and welcome to the sports segment here on the Join News Pulse with me, Oriku Ampofo. It's almost a week since Milo Van Rijvac was sacked as the Black Stars coach. The hunt for the next uh, coach of the Black Stars team continues and uh, there are two names being shortlisted currently. It's been a very dramatic past three days or so. What we do know is that Chris Hewton is in Ghana and he is a part of you know, the candidates for the job. And I will be getting further explanation on what it would take for Chris Hilton to get the job. And then Otoado, uh, who's had the opportunity to work with the team as well in the World Cup qualifiers, his name has popped up as a caretaker coach or to be appointed as the main coach of the Black Stars, depending on how negotiations go uh, between uh, the Ghana Football Association and, and then the Dortmund assistant coach. Uh, but let's get into the details and joining me in studio is uh, Joel Botel of the Joy Sports team. Uh, two candidates, uh, Otoado and Chris Hewton, currently being linked with the job. It looks like one of them is going to get it. Do you think the two are perhaps the best candidates in the market? Well, looking at uh, the earlier shortlist that was given, I believe <clears throat> the first three names were Otoado. Ibrahim Tanko and Chrissy Apia's name popped up. Now, through, I mean, things have gone on, things have changed, and we've heard the name of Chris Hilton coming in, and we, it's believed that it's coming from um, high ranks of the government trying to push Chris Hilton to manage the side, as they believe he's a coach of higher standard. He's coached two teams in the Premier League and one in the Championship. Now, th between those two names, um, I believe Chris Hilton will be a better fit because uh, he's, he's had the experience of a top coach comparing to Otoado. So therefore, between, I believe these two names are best fit, fit, fit for the job. And either of them, I believe Otoado also stands the chance because if you look at uh, what he's done with Dortmund as a talent coach and as, as an assistant coach, you've had players talk about him positively. It won't be bad to have him in a side that we are looking to rebuild and have more youthful players in there. So I believe these two candidates are the best choice. Yeah, the best choice, but you're, you're more skewed towards one, right? Yeah, I'm more skewed towards, uh, towards Chris because I believe Chris has the Premier League standard. Um, he's a coach that has brought both Norwich and Brighton into the Premier League from the Championship. Many will argue that I mean, you're moving from Championship to Premier League, but it's still a big achievement. So looking at that, the only problem I have in there is the fact that his win, re win rate for um, the clubs he's coached hasn't been too impressive. His best has been under Brighton, so even with that, I still think he's a better fit. Well, Chris Hilton, there's been concerns about his style of play, a bit uh, too consecutive for what the Black Stars want to see. Uh, Milo Van Rijvac, the major concern was how the team was playing. Chris Hilton signed an unknown to play expansive football. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I believe each coach has a system, and if you look at the players we have, right now we ha we've had a lot of... Um, young players coming into the side. We've had names like Isahaku, you've had Kamal Dean, Kudus. These are names you'd want uh, to grow in your team. So if Chris is going to bring in his style of play and try and be more um, direct in his approach and try to control the players and what he wants them to play, it could be defensive, but it could be structured. You need more of that. You need coaches that would teach players what he wants to do. I believe Chris has that ability. He's good as a manager, he's good as a person that knows how to dictate play. I mean, it's not bad. I would only want to compare to Otoado because I have not seen Otoado coach a side on his own. That is where the difference is. But Chris, I believe it's okay. Okay, let's still stick with Chris. And one of the added advantages is the fact that he comes from outside and there's been very um, you know, continuous conversations about uh, Ghana tapping into the diaspora talent. Uh, do you think Chris Hutton could help with that? Well, from reports as of yesterday, we heard Chris met with Hassan Odoi's father, the Chelsea midfielder. Um, and that was according to Muftal, our uh, colleague. And he said in that meeting that that is not the only player that they are discussing. There could be names like Tariq Lamte who could also feature on the side. These are all rumors and speculations. But if Chris is going to use what he has to push players, I find that as an advantage for us because he is going to bring a mix of players that have the international standard and ones that we have here with the local boys, which won't be bad. So with that approach, it's, it's all good. We can have players like um, 
there's a player called Brian Bobby. I believe he's a striker that if we can also push into our side, won't be bad. Um, with Afenajan also on the sidelines playing for Roma, that won't be bad as well. Getting these players and uh, players from abroad into our side will really do us a world of good. So I'm, I'm, I'm on board. <laughs> well, before you go, uh, how do you see this ending up? The Ghana Football Association, they've now travelled all the way to Germany. Uh, Chris Hutton, as you said earlier, it looks like the government want to get involved and get him into the job. The Ghana Football Association are, are adamant about bringing in Otto Adwen. I've actually flown all the way to Germany. How do you see this ending up? Well, I believe um, if you look at what the, the, the policy is, is, they're trying to not interfere. They're trying to not allow the government to interfere with what the FA is doing because they believe when you interfere, you create problems for the, 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 the FA and they can't really dictate to what they want the coach to do and that's where the problem is. I believe the coach, the FA will force their way in trying to get Otoado, but best choice, the, the government may win in getting Chris in. And finally, between the two of them, whoever comes in, what do you think are some of the targets that should be set, um, you know, short term, medium term and probably long term? Well, short term, I believe the World Cup qualifiers are just um, a, a month away. We need to get into the World Cup. We've been out of the World Cup for some time now, and we need to get our feet back in there. If we don't get into the World Cup this time, our rankings will drop, and that could be a problem for us. So for short term, we need to get into the World Cup. For long term, I believe we need a rebuild. We've had a lot of players that are probably eight to ten years in the squad, older into the squad, and we need to get these more young players into the squad and build a team, a team that can last as long for five, ten years, and that's good. So I believe these two targets should be our main focus. We have the AFCON coming up next year as well. This year, we didn't do so well. We need to also better our performance in the upcoming AFCON as well. So I believe these targets need to be set and need to be met as well. All right, thank you very much, uh, Joel. And uh, we'll be bringing you updates on who becomes the new uh, Black Stars coach after Milovan Rajevac uh, has been sacked. In terms of the names leading the way, as of today, uh, is between Dortmund Otoado or Chris Hutton, who has previously managed Brighton and Norwich. My name is Aurelio Kwampo, and you can get more sports stories on my jaw online for S Last Sports, or you can follow us on social media at Joy Sports GH. But that's your sports for now.